Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis, and today is September 21st. We are starting week 5 in Season of the Lost, and we are on the Shattered Realm Debris of Dreams. Uh, if you're looking for anything related to the Debris of Dreams, it's on a three-week rotation. So this is, it was week 2, week 5, week 8, and you can kind of count so on from there. Uh, but today we're going to be able to, I think, unlock literally just about everything possible in the Debris of Dreams. Main reason is... You go to your Wayfinder's Compass in the Helm, and you go to your Compass Upgrades, we can now unlock this one. You're going to have to go through and do the quest, um, you know, go be beat the Debris of Dreams one time. But there are things that you may have missed, you may have not hunted for everything before, but with this upgrade, Frequency Echoes, we can get, I think, every single thing possible in here. Uh, it says, your compass now reveals hidden caches of awoken knowledge in the Shattered Realm. And these are the last things that we were needing. If you go to your Triumphs, and you go down here... I did pick one of them up, but it's right here. The Cache of Dreams. And it's one, two, and three that we're going to get. So I honestly think we're going to be able to get basically everything in here for Debris of Dreams checked off. Unless there's something going on. But we got both Descendant Mysteries. We're going to find all the Trivial Mysteries. Pretty much we're going to get everything. But the main thing, as I said, that you need to make sure you have is, one, this unlocked. Um, you're also going to want to make sure you have the duration of barrier effects unlocked. That's going to help. You're going to want to make sure you have safe passage, true sight, barrier breach. Um, the distance and duration of true sight is a good thing to have. Most of the stuff down here doesn't do too much for you. Uh, but down here, increase the duration of safe passage. That's the last one, but it's really not going to be required from anything that I've seen in here. So overall, pretty much got that. Loadout as we go in this week is going to be Overload and Unstoppable. So I've got a bow and I've got a Linear Fusion Rifle. I'm also bringing Agar Scepter. If you do not have this exotic weapon yet, you do need to get it to be able to unlock some of the walls to be able to get to a couple of the chests that I will also show you. So this should be your complete and comprehensive guide for the Debris of Dreams for Season of the Lost. So let's jump in and let's do it. All right, so once you start this time, I'm going to try and do this in an efficient way because there's certain places you're going to end up going to that normally I would probably have you go to in a, like, just like, hey, stop here, clear this stuff out, but we're going to have to go to certain places anyway. So I'm going to try and make this as efficient as possible, but still cover everything that you've got to do. So the first thing that we're going to do is basically beeline it straight to anchor or beacon number one. Uh, as we run across, you can kill these ads. They are not required. And just kind of wake them up, shoot some stuff if you need to. If you need some ammo, you can kill a few of them. Might not hurt. Let's even get a little heavy ammo. That's usually what I'm lacking on. If you want to go hit, say, um, rally flag at a public event before you load in, it's not a horrible idea. I wish some of these activities would just start you with full ammo, but they do not. And the first one you're going to have is right here. So anchor number one is tucked right around this corner as we head up to beacon one. So make sure you grab that on the way up. And then come back around the corner, and we're going to keep proceeding up the dimensional hill. dimensional distortions in your ghost's readings. A beacon should be nearby. As we go up the hill, you're going to have a few ads. Excuse me. Thank you. So again, I'm going to try and do this efficiently. It may seem weird, but by the time we're all done, hopefully you don't have to backtrack too many times. You're going to have to a little bit no matter what you do, but hopefully this helps speed make some of that a little better. Be good if I could actually hit my shots. But for now, we're just going to go inside here. We're going to clear out Beacon 1, and then I'm going to explain the next step. So clear this one out, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Alright, so once you're done clearing Beacon 1, you've got two exit doors. One with Barrier Breach, and one over here that's still open where you came in. We're going to go back out the way we came in, and we're going to clear out everything on this little island first that's way out here, so that way you don't really have to come back to it. So if you head back out, find your little true sight right here. We're going to head across to the island. Watch the platform. It can't appear above you, so give it a second. So here is your second anchor. I'm probably going to forget the number of anchors as we go through. I'm going to refresh true sight. As we go across, you can actually pick off a few of the ads from here if you're looking to do so. But it's honestly safer just to make sure you get to the platform. And then from here, you can take care of what you need. Figure out where these ads are so I can kill those. Alright, those are dead. Now, from where you enter, just we're going to knock this one out now. Grab True Sight. 
and just follow the right edge of the platform. This is the easiest way to do this from right now. And you're going to come over here and you're going to see this first little memory cache. So we're going to open this one up. This cache holds record of the Harbingers, ancient weapons we set to bear against the Hive God Oryx. When Keep following the Oryx's outside edge. Three Techians and I set the Harbingers upon him. It took all our powers to call forth weapons of such impossible And now we're going to grab True Sight just to make sure it's refreshed and go grab this chest. You are in a slow field right now. This one you can do without it, but if you're having issues with the jump, you can actually grab this right here in the middle. And you'll suppress the field so you can actually now move freely. So if you're having any issues with this jump, you got about 10 seconds and jump up here and grab it. Come up here and grab this chest. It's an enigmatic one, trivial mystery, or trivial, sorry. You come back down and grab your true sight again. I just always have it refreshed while I'm running around over here. Now this one, to make life easy, since it should be open now, safe passage, grab this guy. And then now you can jump up here, grab true sight again, and just make sure you're kind of up on about this second platform up here. And then when safe passage runs out, you shouldn't be slowed anymore once you're about this high up. True sight should be lasting plenty long as it's updated now. Keep coming up here and up to the top. You've got your next chest. That is an enigmatic mystery. And again, I'll at some point I have to go through and check the labels on those, but for now I'm just trying to make sure you guys have everything. And as you work your way down, you kind of land about here. It doesn't really matter where you land because right down here in the middle with Agra Scepter, we're going to break open this rock. And we're going to open up another chest. Hidden down here in the bottom of this little crater. A little trivial mystery down there. Might even get a little piece of loot out of it. Might have to crawl your way out, and that is okay. And then from here, we are done with the island. So before we head back, just to review, you've got your memory over there. You've got the first true sight on the little smaller platforms. You've got the second true sight and safe passage to go up to the top. And you've got chest in the middle underneath the Agar Scepter rock. Now, just so you guys know, in case you are work curious, um, right now it's asking you to uh, break illusor illusory barriers um, with Agar Scepter in the Shattered Realm. Those little rocks that you break, with, that you can only break with that weapon, are supposed to count for this. It does seem bugged, so I just wanted to clear that one up. It's the only thing that seems to be bugged at the moment. Also, if you are trying to get bow kills this week for Wayfinder's Voyage, um, it says defeat taken. Um, if you defeat Scorn, it seems to count. So keep that in mind as well as you're running around here. It's all Scorn, so use a bow. Two birds with one stone. All right, so let's head back with True Sight. Get a decent jump. Once you know you're free to jump around, we will head on back. I always tend to take the little refresh, because why not? It's not needed. Habit that I do it, because I'm usually exploring. And we're going to head back around like we were headed to Beacon 1, but we're just going to go around the outside of the building. We're going to get a couple more things before we go back into the middle. You're going to notice that mining rig over there. Um, that's going to be involved in our first Descendant Mystery. We're almost to that one, but not quite yet. You're going to have these few guys outside. And what you're going to do... Oh, I went a little far. Grab your barrier breach right out here by this door. Actually, it does make you invisible. That was a little bonus. We're going to go through here and grab this chest. I had it before. The name's not going to pop up. That is one of your trivial mysteries. The one I've done before, though. And then now we can grab our true sight. And we're going to grab our floating anchor out here. And we're going to come back to the main platform. Now, from here... Once you land down here, we're going to have a lot of enemies to take care of, and we're going to deal with the Ascendant Mystery that's based around this mining rig. So right now, you're just looking to kill as many enemies as you can, clear out all these ads that are around, use whatever you got. Going to have a couple big guys. So that's a deranged abomination. Pull out your linear fusion rifle. It's not an unstoppable or anything, but it is just a beefy boy, so you may as well bring out your heavy weapon. Alright, that should be most of the weapons. You are going to get a few more that do spawn in, so just be careful. Notice we keep getting spawns of adds, so just be aware that you're not, like, done, even though you might think you are. Gonna have some spawns over there.
that should be everything. Now, there's a lot of stuff below me. Um, in like kind of the caverns underneath this like main floating island Harvesting ascendant energy But we're gonna come back to that because by the time we get done We're gonna jump up from the top and go underneath anyway, so you may as well um, Just wait and do that later So once this little guy appears you have to wait for the little mining rig to finish its thing We're gonna take the unrefined ascendant energy and we're gonna follow it to where it shows you to go Got any ammo on the ground grab that Now while we go over here, we're gonna grab a nice little anchor that's waiting out here on a platform for us. And as I said, there's a lot of stuff down below. We're going to come back to that. Don't worry about it. Again, I was told you guys I was trying to go for efficiency. But now, just get a decent running jump. And what you're trying to do, don't worry about these guys too much. Grab barrier breach right here. Go around the corner. And what you want to do is first pick up this chest one of our trivial mysteries we had before, and then we're gonna teleport through. And I told you guys there was gonna be a teleporter in the first video, now we're here. So you gotta get this little orb back to that marker. So be careful, you're gonna have some screeds around here. You don't really wanna die, you wanna make sure you dunk this thing, but deposit it. Perk of having phase breach on, that's a nice way to be invisible. Now we can work on our ads. If you got the screeds down there, Watch for the wrath, they're gonna be coming and charging you. Okay, so we've got our orb dunked. Now what you need to do is jump up here and we're gonna charge it. Takes a little bit. If you've ever done the strike the hollowed lair, you've stood on one of these platforms before. To refine ascendant energy. All right, so now that that is done, don't pick that up yet. I want to cover a couple other things. So, first, you've got your anchor. After you've charged that up, we'll grab this one. Then, we're going to grab True Sight. Now, you've got two ways to go. Go to your right. So, go back up here. And we'll get the other one in a minute. Drop down here. We're going to get another anchor. And then down here, you're going to get two things. You're going to get another chest. And you're also going to get this, which is another memory cache. Is you have to have True Sight to see both of these. On their search for me so grab the True Sight. Work your way back up. Lives while searching through these crooked planes. That is everything the on this overlook area. So hungry. now... Grab your find us in an energy. To the weight Head back bear. to your true sight little buff here. Make sure you're fresh. And we're going to head back down into that little industrial area. As you come down, you're going to be able to grab this chest on the way. That's why I said don't come down here and get it. You can just be backtracking. Then, basically just kind of catch your fall. Slow fall down here. This door, which was not open about three weeks ago, should be open. And then just jump up and make sure you dunk this in the middle. And we're going to take a second and clear the ads out. Not too many of them. I've enjoyed the scepter. Watch your snipers. They're going to hurt. We're going to have some ads down below jumping around too. Apparently quite a few of them. I'm just trying to clear out all the ads that are around, make sure there's no big stragglers. There are some outside, they're not a big deal. I tend to do this in waves, as you can tell. An aggro scepter is not bad for clearing ads, it's really not. It's like, it's a pretty good way to get those freeze explosions and chain quite a few guys together. You need a vantage point, you can check if there's anybody left. And this is Rictal the Unmade. Rictal? Can't even read the name. Once you kill him, you're gonna be able to come over here. You're gonna hit this little toggle switch. And that's gonna open your chest, and this is gonna be an Ascendant Mystery. And this one is gonna be called Refined Power. Once you've got this chest, we're gonna grab an anchor as we exit. 
to have reverse engineered a process to refine ascendant energy. They and could not keep going have up. done this on their own. Easiest way to exit this place is honestly just like from the stairs. Sorry, I had to orientate myself. Jump up here. Jump up here. And then if you use kind of the big top of the industrial complex, we can work our way back up here. Again, don't go down below. We're going down there later. We'll get to that. So now we're back to the main platform with this big spinny rig. And again, we will be back here later. Oh, that was quite a thread the needle jump there. Wow. Sorry about that. All right, so from the rig, you can see that we went, that was beacon one. We're gonna head to our right, following the lanterns up this direction. Gonna have some ads waiting for you up here, so just be ready. Throw a grenade, throw anything, whatever you wanna do to kill these guys. Aggro Scepter's a nice way to freeze them. Now, remember this room because we're gonna come back through here later, but don't worry about the chest, don't worry about some other things, but you can get one while we're here. Turn around and shoot this wall. Doesn't require any buffs. Jump back in here and grab another anchor. Now, in case you're wondering why I'm not picking up any, any I have actually tapped out my parallax trajectory, so I'm mid-recording, but make sure you spin some of that parallax trajectory before you start getting all this stuff. Head on down. You're going to have a few ads down here. And again, can't really get any of this stuff until we get uh, Beacon 2 cleared out, but you can get a little bit. So we're going to go get two things. Once you get to here, Beacon 2 is to your left. We're going to head to the right. This is another anchor. I'm literally wasting every one of those anchors, but I'm not really too worried. Drop down two levels, and you're going to find another rock under here. Bust that one open. We got another chest. That one is going to give me another bow. Apparently, I'm going to have a lot of bows to pick from. Hopefully, one of them is good. Now, we're going to head over to Beacon 2, as we have before. And we're going to clear out Beacon 2. All right, so I'm going to clear out Beacon 2, and we will be right back. All right, so once you have cleared out Beacon 2, what we're going to do is go grab one quick chest real fast. Right over here, chest and anchor. Since True Sight is now active, you can grab this. Mostly just because we're not going to come back through this specific area again. So grab your anchor. And then grab the chest. Open that one up. And then we're going to head back and we're going to go up the elevator slash ladder. Sorry. Wrong terminology. And head up here. And you can use these little like ledges right here as kind of like ladder rungs. And don't worry about True Sight running out. I'm going to come back for that. So no big deal. Once you get up here, you got a couple of ads waiting for you. No biggie. And turn to your right, clear out a couple of these guys, make quick work of them. Alright, so once you've cleared out the ads, you're going to see this little box right here. Now you need True Sight to be able to, like, interact with that, but we'll get back to that here in just a little bit. But for now, I just want you to grab Barrier Breach. We're going to come in here and grab our chest. Nothing else going on in here, so just pop back out. And then... Apparently we found a buddy. It's fine. You're gonna have a bit of a change in direction and you're gonna head in to here. Now you don't need barrier breach or anything to be able to access this door so you can just unlock it. And you're gonna have some ads down here. Now you've got Caxus the Hunger. You've got Srinok the Deep Walker, which he's the last one we kill. And there's likely another one somewhere. I just can't see him. Anyways, let's uh, wake up their fun. He'll clear all the ads out of here. And then we're going to have the first little mini boss here. So this guy is Axis the Listener. He gets deleted pretty fast with a linear fusion rifle. And in so. here... You're going to have stage some sort a transmit of passcode. Combat. you got three passcodes that we need to get. Culture. Are they so, if you come up own? here, you'll notice where we are. We're in this room again. Now, I have a scorn passcode. At this point, what you want to do 
is come over to this little backpack. And you can see if I toggle it, it turns the force field on. Toggle it, turns the force field off. Make sure this thing is open when you leave. It's the biggest thing I can tell you. So I have a scorn cache passcode. So now I can transmit the passcode right here and dunk it. That's number one. This is for basically the Ascendant Mystery, by the way. We're going to head to our left over here. You're going to have some trip mines, so make sure you got something that you can mess with those. As you pass through, blow up the trip mines. You can grab your chest. And that's a Trivial Mystery Sealed Stash. Again, watch for the trip mines. Try not to let those blow you up. If you want to move a little faster, we've got uh, suppressing the safe passage section here. You could move a little faster if you want to. If you wanted to jump over these, you could. And then the barrier breach still active. We're going to head outside. And basically, the biggest thing I can tell you is just sprint and run through. Remove these vermin. You might take a little damage. That is okay. Just try to make sure you get through quick. No big deal. So from here, once you get outside, we're going to head up this little range. A couple of ads up here. Clear them out. And then you're going to come up to this little section. And before we go grab the boss guy in there, we're going to do a few things. We're going to grab True Sight. We're going to get some platforms to show up. Got a little chest floating out here. That's an enigmatic mystery floating. And then to our right, there should, right over here, I picked it up previously, there should be an Ascendant Memory right here in this little region where I'm standing. If you don't see it, I'd be surprised, but True Sight is on. You should be able to see it. It was there before. Maybe I have to clear this last guy out. So we're going to grab True Sight again. Going to go grab this anchor tucked away over here on the edge. And we're going to breach the barrier. Once you breach the barrier, be prepared. You got a bit of a fight. Again, your linear fusion rifle is going to make quick work of these guys. Apparently that works rather well. Apparently you are not alone after that. You got some screams that want to blow you up. And notice I've got a score and passcode again. All right, so after you kill everything in here, you've got your passcode. You can make sure the screams don't kill you. Come outside, and we're actually going to go get the next passcode. Now, I already dunked it, but you can hold to it once. Chat confirm that one with me. So you don't have to go retreat your steps like I just did. Retrace your steps. Pretty much what you want to do, you can grab True Sight if you want a little smoother landing. Make sure you're out here up over the platform. And then we're just going to fall down. And catch yourself. Going to have a few ads in here. Don't worry about those. There we go. Oh, we got a straggler over there. Okay. All right. So again, we're back at main platform one. Look familiar. This is why I said you don't need to go down below because we're about to do it right now. So when you, if you're facing this little like rotating thing, head like you're going to go towards beacon two, but we're going to head on this underneath route down here. We're going to take care of everything down below. You're going to have a couple ads that spawn quick. And you're also going to have more ads in here. So this is where your mini boss is going to be that you were waiting to come across. This is your third one for your third passcode. So there's Srinok. Probably saying that completely wrong. It's just by guessing what his... Uh... There he is, Srinok. And he's dead. Again, linear fusion rifles for the win. All right. So from here, if you're inside... Once you've killed everything, which you may not have killed it all yet. If you're looking at these two right here, just turn quick to your left, and you're going to see an anchor. Grab this one quick. Easy, simple. Head back inside. Then, we're going to grab safe passage right here in the middle. Now that you can jump, it's easier to get to this one. True sight. And then you can literally just jump straight up to the top and grab it. Don't cast your super when you hit the wrong button on your keyboard. That's fun. 
All right, let's drop down. Now, you can head to your left. So if you're facing the little true sight um, platform up there, head to your left, kind of hug the wall. And we're gonna go down underneath. Gotta love when you cast a super in the middle of a video on accident. Here's an anchor. Grab that guy and keep going through the room, through this little cave over here. And you're gonna see we got a nice wall. And we've got another anchor. Grab that one, and now we're gonna retreat. All the way back to the top, and we're gonna grab a couple things on the way out, just because they're basically just as easy to do when we're making it, when we're going in versus going out. So again, if you wanna know how to get out of here, the direction I'm going, you've got your Field of Strife and your True Sight right behind it. Do a quick 180 and head out this direction towards kind of the industrial complex. And you notice this little true site right here. We're going to use this. We got platforms down below. Now, this is where extended true site comes into play. You got your extended anchor. Our lurker hanging down here. You've got our chest. Grab this guy underneath. And you can refresh it, or you can probably make it back if you're speedy at jumps. But if you're not, just make sure you get the refresh. And work our way back up. Now, we've still got our scorn passcode. You can have two scorn passcodes. Don't worry. I just dunked one and I retreated that, but you guys don't need to do that. So again, I'm trying to make it as efficient as I can for you. So once you get back up here, we're gonna go like we did to Beacon 2. We're gonna go back up the ladder, but you get to skip a bit of a step. You might have these guys hanging here. So, true sight, sitting here right underneath. Go ahead and jump on the platforms. You've got your Ascendant Anchor. And then if you come up, you've also got a chest right up here waiting for you. And it's much easier to get to that chest this way than the other guy. Come in, we're gonna dunk our last one. If you just got both, you would dunk one of them there. And then now this one over here. Open this guy up. And that is going to be the first rule. So if we go ahead and check our triumphs, you see we got the first rule. We got refined power. So we got the wayfinding dreams. That one's done. We've got the hidden refuge, the envisioned ascent, and the sealed stash. So that one is going to be the trivial wayfinding dreams. And then we had the conjuring, Corsair's tale, and harbingers. And that is Caches of Dreams. So that is, as you guys can see, for Debris of Dreams. Page 3, page 2, and page 1. 100% complete. And at this point, all you gotta do... Is basically head back to the very top of the level. Finish it up. And if you haven't done this more than once, you're good to go. leave those guys down below all you got to do now is clear out beacon three smash the tank in the face and you are done so if you guys did enjoy this video please drop a like below uh you are complete 100 for the debris of dreams so if you guys if i missed anything if there's any pointers you've got please drop those below in the comments if you guys are new to the channel and you enjoyed the video please hit the subscribe button Hit the alert bell. That'll help my future videos make it to you for the future weeks that I'm going to be doing these guides and many other Destiny videos. If you guys do want to support me, you can hit that join button to join the channel as a member. You guys can also support me over on Patreon. I've got a link for that. If you want to find me on Twitter, it is at Ebontis. And for streaming, I stream over on Twitch where I recorded this one live. And then also I stream right here on YouTube. Thank you all very much. I'll see you soon.